We as Christians are certainly saved by God's grace. Grace is God's unmerited or undeserved favor or gift to us. In Romans chapter 5, the Apostle Paul reminds us that sin entered the picture through one man, Adam, and that because of his trespass, because of his overstepping the boundaries of God, that death entered into humanity. But then Paul tells us the hope that just as through one man sin came, so through another man, the God-man, Jesus Christ, came God's grace, God's gift of righteousness and life to those who will trust in Jesus. But I want to talk for a few minutes about what happens when a person who claims to have trust in Jesus Christ never begins to really overcome sin patterns in their life. What is that saying about their Christianity? Well, when Paul moves into Romans chapter 6, he asks a rhetorical question. He says that because of God's abundant grace wherever there is sin, should we go on sinning? The answer comes back, by no means. Paul said, we are those who have died to sin. So how can we live in it any longer? Paul said, we are of those who have died to sin. So how are we going to keep living in it? Many Christians say, well, God's grace covers my sin. And that's true. But the question is, do you really understand what Jesus has done? Have you truly, with your mind and heart, entered into the gospel? Now let me explain. Paul said we have died to sin. He asked this question of those who may be taking God's grace for granted and not overcoming sin in their life. He says, don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. Now, Paul's not talking about water baptism here, but the word baptized means immersed, to go under, to be overwhelmed by. And so God is asking this question, do you realize that when you were baptized, when you were immersed, when you were overwhelmed into Jesus Christ, that you were baptized or overwhelmed or went down into his death? That's an important question. When Jesus died on the cross, carrying the weight of our sin, he went into death. He came and died a physical death because death is the wages of sin. Now, it's important to realize something. Jesus died for our sin, and he stayed in the grave for three days. If Jesus would not have risen from the dead, that would have meant two things. Number one, it would have meant that Jesus is not really God. He would have been like any other human being who is crucified or who dies and is unable to raise themselves from the dead. So if Jesus never rose from the dead after dying on the cross for our sin, it would have demonstrated that he is not God. But it would have also demonstrated, flat out, that sin in fact does have the power that God says it has. That the wages of sin is death. There would have been no victory. But the fact of the matter is that Jesus did rise from the grave. On the third day, he resurrected. So this proves, number one, that Jesus is God because he was able to raise himself from the dead even after paying and taking the hit for the sin of humanity. 
And number two, it proves that Jesus had victory. Victory over the sin that he died for. Jesus didn't just die as a martyr. He didn't just die as you and I die. He died for the sin of the world. And carrying that guilt, he rose, proving that he was God and that he had victory over it. But here's the question. Paul says, do you understand that when you really trust in Jesus, you're trusting in the one who went down into death with our sin, but then rose again? Listen, this is Romans chapter 6, verse 4. We, therefore, buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Did you hear that? Jesus died and rose. He died for our sin and rose from the grave in victory over our sin. And Paul says, we were therefore buried with him through baptism into his death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, that we too may live a new life. So the emphasis here is on we went down into death with him in order that we might rise to new life in him. The purpose of salvation is not just to say my past sins are forgiven. We're not leaving Jesus on the cross. We're not stopping at his death. We know that he had to resurrect. If he's God, he had to resurrect from the dead. If he was going to have victory over our sin and provide forgiveness, he had to conquer it and rise after paying for it, and he did. And Paul says, because we identify with the cross, because we identify with the death of Christ and we want to have that forgiveness, we also must recognize that he did this in order that we too may rise. This is why water baptism is such a beautiful picture. You go down under the water, identifying with the death of Jesus for sin, and then you rise up from the water, identifying with the new life of Jesus, so that he died for sin so that we can die to sin. My question for you is this. Have you realized that that is the depth of the gospel? Because if you are not living a new life in Christ, now I'm not saying you suddenly become perfect, but if you are not gaining victory over sin in your life through the victory that Jesus had over sin on the cross by rising again. If you're not demonstrating that increasing victory over sin, a holier life, a life that is set apart to God, then just as if Jesus would not have risen after he died, everything would have fallen apart. It would have shown that he wasn't God and it would have shown that there was no victory over sin and death. In the same way, if you don't rise to new life after trusting in Jesus, then that's kind of demonstrating that you're not really trusting in Jesus as God and that you're not really living in or trusting in his resurrection and his victory over sin. So I would encourage you right now to read for yourself Romans chapter 5 verses 12 through 21, and then Romans chapter 6, verses 1 to 14. Prayerfully read that over, get somewhere and pray, and ask the Holy Spirit to show you how to trust in the whole gospel. To not just say, well, I believe that Jesus died for my sin. There's more to it than that. He rose from the grave because he's God, and because he demonstrated victory over sin on our behalf. If we believe, if we want to believe that we're going to heaven, if we want to truly call ourselves Christians, we need to be immersed, we need to identify with, 
We need to let the old sinful us go down in death with Jesus and rise to the new life that he has provided. He, his resurrection, his power, his Holy Spirit does give us victory over our old life and over our sin. So I am praying that if you've watched this video, that the Holy Spirit is going to grab hold of your heart and that through his word, you are going to see the truth and truly trust in Jesus fully for your salvation, for your victory over sin that will one day be complete in our new bodies in the new heaven and new earth that Jesus is coming soon to give to us. I'm Shelley Prindle, and our ministry is Hope and Passion Ministries. If you'd like to contact us, if you'd like to invest in this ministry so that we can continue providing the Lord's Word for you, if you have a prayer request, go to hopeandpassion.org, hopeandpassion.org. And you can also go on to my YouTube channel, Hope and Passion Ministries. We are praying for you. We want you to truly know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. God bless you.